Enter a wacky world while the elements of international cuisine form a recipe for disaster. The ingredients you need to make a delectable concoction, well, they've all run amok. You have to chase them down and bag them before they make mincemeat out of you. Each of the multiple levels is set in an exotic locale where you'll find a special ingredient needed to make each dish complete. This is Out to Lunch, also known as Pierre Le Chef is... Dot, 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 out to Lunch from Mindscape, released in 1993. It's an arcadey, action-y, platformer-y kind of thing. And as I was sitting down to record this, uh, I initially thought this is probably one of those like Amiga, Atari ST, Commodore games that got ported over. It's actually the other way around. This was Game Boy and SNES first, and then went to the Amiga and Amiga CD in 94. Side-scrolling platformer revolves around a French chef who has to collect ingredients for his dishes by going to different countries and catch them as they have escaped. What I want to know is why the tomatoes decided to go to, you know, like, we're quick, we're tomatoes, we have to hide before the chef gets us. Where should we go? I don't know, Greenland. Oh, yes. Uh, single player and two player alternating mode. It plays kind of sort of like a bubble bobble thing. We, we did a game a while ago. What was it? Magic Boy? It's kind of like that. You just have to go around and, and you push the buttons and you steal. You steal. You cage the, the vegetables and the meats and the fruits and the, and the cheeses and, and uh, something. <laughs> I don't. I really don't know. Um, I'm even looking at some of the screenshot and the video playing silently in the background here, and I just can't. I just, I just don't know. I guess we can get weapons, flower bags, hot sauce, which can be used to stun ingredients. There's a bacteria, uh, which will kill us if we touch it, and can turn the ingredients into hostile enemies. Oh no, attack of the killer tomatoes. Uh, mixed to positive reviews, user submitted review on GameSpot gave it a 7.1, commenting, commending excuse me, the gameplay for being nice and simple, but some, some of the floors are rather glitchy, criticizing the poor mid-air movement. Game rankings gave it a 59.5%. Uh, 59.5 sounds sounds good. I could, I could get behind that. It's... I don't know, man. It's not terrible, but I don't... This is just, this is not a game for me. If I want to play a game like this, I'll play Bubble Bobble. I'll play, I'll play, I'll play another arcadey puzzle platformer before I play this one. How about that? <laughs>